the last chord, I believe, yeah? <laughs> yes, it was. Yeah, and, um, and uh, this was uh, my come-of-age poem. This was the first poem that was actually meant to be a poem. And uh, I was um, reading it and uh, trying to get it right, as you do. And I did a spoonerism. Now, I don't know if you have know what a spoonerism is in America, but it's when you jumble your words up. Instead of saying uh, uh, money farm, you say funny mom, or, or you, you, you Marilyn Monroe, you say, I don't know, you can't mess that one. <laughs> <laughs> a prior talk, you better not mess that one. Uh, <laughs> but so I did, uh, as I'm panning my way through this, uh, I, uh, I did a spoonerism towards the end and I laughed uh, more out of embarrassment than, than uh, because I thought it was funny. Um, but then uh, we did it two or three times and I got it what we thought was right and everybody said, sorry, it works with the maniac laughter at the end. So uh, I've got to try and do it again. This is only the third time I've ever performed this, so I've got to read it off my uh, phone here. And, uh, and because I used um, the uh, microphone, some of the words are not actually what I wrote. Mm -hmm. Some of them are not even close. <laughs> <laughs> I think this phone speaks American, not English. <laughs> but uh, wish me luck. I can't find anywhere to put these things. <laughs> oh, well. Done yet? So here we go. Inside, you don't laugh till the end. Inside, Sam's fellow touch. There's something inside that we need so much. The sight of a touch, or the scent of a sound, or the strength of an oak, with roots deep in the ground, or the wonder of flowers to be buried and then to burst up through tarmac to the sun again. Or to fly to the sun without burning the wind. To lie in a meadow and hear the grass sing. To have all these things in our memories God. To use them to help us to find the lost God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have a nerve. <laughs> Just for 
much fun. Um.